The holiday season is just around the corner, and with that said, it's very likely that you're gonna wanna know how to add snow to any scene in Blender very quickly. Here's how to do that. Shift A, add in a plane. Scale it up a little bit, but not too much. Maybe something like two. Don't scale it up too much. I'll tell you why in a second. Come up here to edit, click on preferences, and under this search bar, we're gonna type in snow. Enable object real snow add-on. You can close this panel now. Press N to pop open this menu over here on the right hand side of your viewport. And then I have a ton of add-ons, but you should just be looking for real snow. Once you find real snow, go ahead and click on that. Make sure your plane is selected. We can adjust the height of the snow and how dense of a coverage we want on this surface. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it at the default settings. I'm just gonna click add snow, wait a couple of seconds, boom, we've got some snow. It doesn't look amazing per se. It's a super simple add-on, but if we go into our render viewport and make sure we have some sort of world enabled, we can see that we even got a snow material from this and it's actually procedural, meaning you could apply it to anything and get pretty good results. Now, forewarning, I don't think this add-on is made to be applied to an object where you apply the scale. Once you apply the scale to a large object, yeah it might crash your blender. This is because if we tab into edit mode on this object, we can see that it's a pretty high density mesh with a lot of vertices. And if we go to our modifiers, we can see that there's also a subdivision surface applied as well. So again, I advise you to be very cautious before applying scale and then adding this add-on to it. Now with just a few tweaks, I was able to mimic what this add-on was doing to add snow to the roof of a cabin that I'm making in Blender. And you can see it's, uh, it's actually looking fairly nice. I mean, that's a decent snow texture. Now, what if you wanted to add, like it looks like wind blew some snow, a thin light coverage of snow onto an object. You can check out my tutorial on how to add dirt to any object in Blender. Follow that tutorial and all you really got to do is just manipulate the color of that dirt and it should work. If you have any problems, just let me know in the comments below and I'll be glad to answer them. I'm Jordan Needham, this has been JHAM3D and I'll catch you next time.